Another tech stock has a wild ride. There was much anticipation of Lyft's IPO as well as Uber's. Initially, the stock performed well and the market seemed to give it a lot of attention. But that didn't last long because Monday wasn't friendly to Lyft and the stock began to fall immediately. Is this another pump and dump or just a soft patch? Only time will tell. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to look into what's happening with Lyft. This was very big in the news, very big in the media. I wanted to cover it, give you a little history, and we'll begin by taking a look at this. Shares of Lyft are tumbling in its first full day of trading as a public company. Shares fell 10% on Monday, hitting levels below its IPO of $72 on Friday. Shares had reached $88.60, up 21% before giving ground by the end of the day. What's interesting about Lyft and that with the other unicorn companies is that they consistently lose money. Yes, they have a lot of users. Yes, they're bringing in money in a way, but it's also going out the back door. And there are so many companies that are in this model of, look, as long as we stay popular and relevant, then it doesn't matter how much money we lose, but that is an unsustainable method of doing business. Very few can actually survive doing this. I'm just showing you this chart here to give you an idea of what happened to the stock falling into a bear market now. And this has been in a very short period of time. Who knows what the future will have in store. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how the excitement is there. They're pumping it up. Everyone is laughing. They're doing great. And then in a few hours, literally a few hours on the trading systems, this falls such a drastic amount. The reason I'm doing this video is because it highlights the euphoria that surrounds certain corporations. This is going to be the next Amazon. I'm going to be so rich. Well, sometimes that happens, but it's not likely. Lyft stock began trading near $90 on Friday, but quickly retraced those gains as investors took profit. The stock's downward trend suggests that investors are having buyer's remorse amid a quote, stampede of hot, closely held companies flooding markets with newly liquid shares. The headwinds that this company has, as well as others, is that number one, the drivers are constantly demanding more money that will eat into their profits. You have additional regulations coming in in different cities. Maybe they'll ban them. Maybe they'll regulate the hell out of them so that the drivers don't want to do it. The businesses don't want to open up there. You also have a lot of competition coming out, whether it's from Google's company, whether it's from others that will inevitably pop up. You have a very large amount of potential rivals. So I will definitely be covering this in the future. I think it's important just because, quite frankly, there are so many different companies that are coming up now that we think it's not going to happen. We think it's not going to take off. And sooner or later, this becomes a pervasive entity in our lives. Think about the internet. At one point, there didn't really seem a need for it with email and with digital products like your cell phone and so on. At one point, it was a fad and now it's taken over so we have to understand that these different corporations out there while they may not seem important or necessary today and to some people may never seem necessary the world is starting to look at all of these new technologies and a lot of money is going towards them but you have to pick out the ones that are going to be worth something in the medium and longer term that's the very difficult part so this is in the middle of the trading session here and we'll see how it fluctuates throughout the day but you're looking at it just under $70 it has fallen down when you take it from its peak to the current level it is in a bear market now as I said this can change in an instant we can have this come up another 10% another 20% and it really doesn't tell us much but at least the fact remains we have to watch out for the pump and dumps we have to look out for the euphoria that's there. We need real strength and not excitement and not just people jumping in. So let's get into the pile. Buying Lyft stock requires making, quote, too many big assumptions, according to one particular analyst. 
Essentially, many analysts are looking at this, wondering what's going to happen. How are they going to be able to generate enough revenue coming in in the future when there's a lot of headwinds in its way? They haven't made that public. They said that they'll do that, but they haven't actually talked about how they would do so. And that's kind of giving these analysts a little bit of cause for concern. So we'll see what happens. I just wanted to give you a little history here. We're looking at Facebook stock, and this is initially when it went for its IPO. You may have been watching this. I know many people were, and a lot of people called it a pump and dump because you can see, I don't know the actual IPO price, but what it's showing me on this chart is basically around $42. We can even go lower than that. It doesn't really matter. Regardless, what we're seeing is that it's at a relatively high price when it initially comes out, and at that point, it starts falling off a cliff immediately. So a lot of people, were saying uh, this is clearly a pump and dump then it starts to rise up a little bit more but the falling continues to resume and actually it ended up at around $17 at this low point in here this is a moment in which we need to realize that every stock no matter how powerful no matter how important you believe the company is the stock can drop fast now you compare that to what we're seeing in the stock today obviously it's grown tremendously over these years there's no doubt about that but initially over those first few months there's a lot of turmoil and that is clearly present with Facebook the same thing can happen with all these other companies I mean come on look at snapchat the stock was just brutalized and there's no turning back for that one this is a case where you're looking at the product so many people use it so many people have it everyone's loving it and then suddenly after the IPO comes it falls down like a stone so nobody really knows what will happen to each individual stock sometimes it has nothing to do with their performance it just happens to be euphoria surrounding it and it's in picking those good ones that makes this number one very difficult but potentially very beneficial for those who get on and ride the wave that's all for this video if you found it informative please give me a thumbs up when you give me a thumbs up you are supporting this channel so i do appreciate that very much if you want everything from the foundation the history the asset classes all the details that you did not get in school well then check these two books out they're in the description you'll be able to flip through the pages of the books to see if you like them if you want the audiobook that's available at themoneygps.com if you want to find out about what steve eisman's next big short is click on this video and i will see you there